show her filled with joy. On Christmas Eve, while at her grandmother's home on 22nd Avenue in Largo, she'd had enough of her brothers bickering. DeMarcus and Darkus began pulling guns on one another. Abriel told DeMarcus, quote, you all need to leave that stuff alone. Why are you trying to start it? It's Christmas. They both had been fighting over Christmas presents, with the 15-year-old Darkus jealous that their mom had spent more on gifts for 14-year-old DeMarcus. After Abriel stepped in, DeMarcus pulled a gun and fired, killing her and sending her son and his nephew, an 11-month-old, falling to the ground. Then, Darkus pulled his own gun and shot DeMarcus, leaving him badly injured. This proliferation of guns on the streets and guns in this area and guns in the hands of these kids this is the worst I've ever seen. It. I don't think we've ever seen it this bad. The sheriff says the area around 22nd Avenue in Largo has been subject to extra patrols lately, with 13 gun-related incidents since September. He says his office has gotten reports of 17 guns stolen from unlocked cars. He suspects the guns used in this shooting were obtained that way. And people can't leave their car doors unlocked and leave their guns in their cars. It's got to stop. Further, the sheriff says both juveniles have been let off the hook too easily by the juvenile justice system, particularly DeMarcus, who has a history of violence against school staff and law enforcement. The sheriff is calling for tougher laws. They are not getting the consequences that they should get that keep them from doing it again and again and again. Abriel was only 23, and now her kids, an 11-month-old and a 6-year-old, will have to grow up without her. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News. DeMarcus has been charged with first-degree murder for shooting his sister. He's in the hospital and expected to recover. Darkus is charged with attempted first-degree murder and is in a mental health treatment facility. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learned from um, Salakia. Listen to the elder who out here. Uh, you know, to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity, hey, shalom to you. Let's just jump right on into it. You saw that? Hey, that's the Christmas spirit, isn't it? Huh? That's the Christmas spirit, right? And I and I truly believe that uh, uh you know, uh, there's a whole lot of there's a whole lot of demons and a whole lot of things going on around the twenty uh, 19th, you know, through uh, through the through the first, you know, as a, a on a, on the Gregorian calendar, if you will, as Esau Edom's calendar. Now the scriptures has plainly told us, and now this lesson lesson's been done before. I know it has. Now I'm gonna do it again, all right? Because I saw that clip right there. It was put up by uh you know the brother uh the Bar Kabash, and it was put up by uh you know uh, uh the elder um Amawan Gabar, right? You know, yeah. And I saw that, and I was thinking, you know, well, here's the Christmas spirit. And it, it, there's so much uh everybody gets so uh, uptight. And I'm messed up and blah, blah, blah. It's because it's a pagan holiday. Now, you, you got to think about certain things that, that are going on, you know, during this time, this time of year. I don't like this time of year. It's a, it's a dark, dark, dark time. Matter of fact, here, let's read this first. Jeremiah 10, of verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. That's the Israelites, not everybody. He said, you know, it's simply said, speaking unto you. Verse 2, thus saith the Lord Yahweh. Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. See that? The heathen are dismayed at the signs of heaven. And that's one of the ways we went off. We went a horn with our eyes, worshiping idols. You got to sit back and you got to think about this for a moment. Okay? Uh, uh, Christmas is, uh, is so-called Christmas or whatever. is a hell of a stumbling block to a whole lot of Israelites, man. It is. It's it's hard for them to stop. It's hard for them to stop. Why? Because they don't have a healthy fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And you got to think about how creepy this is. They they say that a a, a big fat uh, uh, Edomite, a big fat white man, goes sneak in through your chimney. Like and Jake usually don't have chimneys anyway. I'm just saying, sneak in through your chimney and leave gifts up, up under a tree, and you leave them some milk and cookies. That shit is creepy, man. Yeah, like the elder who I just said, the Lord about to get rid of these ninjas, man. They're getting sifted out anyway. All right, and you know, and another thing is, when you got your Christmas carols, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's it's a really strange 
uh, what they call a hard. It's very, very strange. You know, he, what, what, he's it, it's it, he it, going off, man. It's like uh, uh, you, you worshiping Santa Claus as as a god. Listen, listen to this song. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. That's creepy. That sound, it sounds like he's some kind of God, right? I'm just saying. You got to pay attention to all these little nuances. Verse 3, for the customs of the people are vain. For one cut off a tree out of the forest. The work of the hands of the uh, workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold that it fasten not. Uh, so lucky that it, yeah that it fasten they they fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not so lucky I got that wrong okay see that's talking about the so called Christmas tree the evergreen it goes into Nimrod we it, you know I, I did the lesson and I've done it before but it goes into Nimrod married his own mom you know and then after after he died which was the December twenty fifth and he was born on December twenty fifth also has nothing to do with Yahweh Shai this is this is this is crazy it's madness. OK, uh, all, and all kinds of things. It's a Christmas spirit that goes out there. And, it, and it's just it's, it's, it's really wicked, man. That's, I had to put that clip in there. I had to. Them two little Jakes, them two little uh, uh, gremlins, them two little GMO babies was, was upset because mom had bought more presents for the other one. And so they, they got to, uh, uh, you know, you ever seen that movie Heat? <laughs> they got to pow, 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 pow. That's just crazy. That's the spirit, though. That's the Christmas spirit. Huh? All right. They are upright as the palm tree, but uh, but speak not. They must They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be, uh, be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. So it, it, you're worshiping a, God, a, a, a pagan God. All right. That's what you're doing. You know, all the things are there, man. It's all there. All right. Let's let's move on down here. Thursday, December 21st was what? Now, you see what this picture is, right? It's what they call Stonehenge, correct? Okay. It's, it's all, it, all this is a, a, a wicked, weird, and upside-down vibration that they put on the people every year. And it's like there's, you can see it. You brothers who are in the truth and you already know what's going on, you can see it and you can feel it. These people are like zombies, man. They're like zombies. Okay. And, tw and 2024 going to be a doozy. But, the, you know, when, when these when these times come around, you know, your thanks killing your uh, Christmas. I'll say it that way. These people lose their minds. All right. Thursday, December 21st was what? The winter solstice. The winter solstice, which is what? The one of the uh, the or I think it is the darkest day. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Someone on the comment board. But the darkest night, the darkest day. Of the year is the winter solstice. Yeah, that's right around what they call so-called Christ's birthday. No, nonsense. The summer solstice is the longer day. The scripture said we are children of light, not of the darkness. And that goes into something different, you know. But I'm just, you know, I'm sort of, you know, putting that together because they they do their works in the dark, and that goes into something else too. I understand, but it's the winter solstice, and that's that's when they. Oh, boy. It's a, it's a bunch of madness. Daniel 8 and verse 25. And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart. And by peace, what? By peace shall destroy many. See? Uh, uh, see uh, they say uh, the, uh, that this Christmas is a is a, just a, a happy-go-lucky, easy-going uh, holiday. You know, it's... it's not included in it's, it's you know you, you do you understand what I'm saying? They have peace to prosper, all right. It's not uh, it's not like mixed up into uh, so-called uh, Native Americans getting slaughtered or whatever. Blah blah blah. It's not mixed up in none of that. So the people just forget and just go on with it. Even you know even your Christian church, which is a uh, Christianity is a false religion anyway, is is going to hell off. Even they celebrate it. But now you got a great awakening where there's a whole lot of people that don't. Even so-called Christians don't, man. They starting to see it. We just read Jeremiah 10 and verse 1 through uh, 4 or 5. It simply told you that the customs of the people are vain. And this is a custom of the people. 
Rome. What? Rome. All these festivals. You know, if if you brothers, you know, if if you if you've had children that are out of school or in school now, or they have been out of school for a while, you know, I'm talking about public school or whatever. If you were lucky enough to put them in private school, good for you. <laughs> Call hello, you how about shim y'all shy, but you know, well off enough of you or whatever. But uh, you, you have all these different fall festivals and festivals for this and festivals for that, and it's and all that's a Roman type thing. Now there's a book. There's a book written, and the book was called The Two Babylons, okay? What's his name? Written by Alexander uh, Hislop. I think it's uh, Alexander Hislop. It's a pretty cheap book, all right? And I read just a bit of it just a minute ago, so you go into it. It's called Two, uh, It's called The Two Babylons, The Two Babylons, all right? Daniel 8 and verse 25, and through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper, in his hand and he shall magnify himself in his heart and by peace shall destroy many peace right he shall also stand against the prince of princes Yahushai, but he shall be broken without hands so he's gonna get torn up Yahushua Yahushua is gonna tear his ass to pieces all right but before that before that there's uh, the great awakening is happening it's happening right in front of your eyes now let's go to you see the custom practically makes santa claus into a godlike being you heard that you know that little christmas carol that i just uh, uh you know blurted out to you he sees you when you're sleeping he knows when you're awake he knows if you've been bad or good so be good for goodness sake now you know hey we all know the song whatever uh, more uh, more years of my life i celebrated christmas than not and the water to you, how about Shimia Shai for getting me up out of that nonsense and opening my eyes up? But you got to listen to those little carols and all that stuff and the new, the, 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 again, the little nuances of uh, what's going on here, man. That sounds like a god. You see? And then, you know, in Rome, it got a bunch of festivals and a bunch of gods, a bunch of idols that we went a whoring and going off, man. Let's read it again. The custom practically makes Santa Claus into a godlike being with the ability to hear children's wishes, prayers, and, and visit all the good children, see, all right, of the world in, in one night. Woo, what? All the good children of the world in one night. That sort of reminds me of, uh, of uh, Exodus, you know, where or you hide by Shimei Shai, you know, when uh, he was going to kill all the firstborn. And that, that's that. Wow. Interesting. OK. Anyway, and, uh, and uh, visit all the good children of the world uh, night supernatural with supernatural powers. And he portrayed as always staying the same edge age, immoral, immortal. Salakia. You see that? That's crazy. Of course, this is a myth found nowhere in the Bible. That's right. So when we when we enter the Bible, we say, thus saith you how about Shim Shah? Anything else is uncivilized. You see that? Anything else is uncivilized. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, let's go here. Deuteronomy. This is crazy. Deuteronomy uh, 12 and verse 1. There are statues and judgments which ye shall observe to do in the land, which the Lord Yahweh, thy power of, uh, of thy fathers, given thee to possess it in all the days that ye live upon the earth. Verse 2. Ye shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which ye shall possess serve their gods. Do you hear this? See that? Upon the high mountains and upon the hills and under every green tree. Verse 3. And ye shall overthrow their altars and break their pillars and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hewn down the graven images of their gods and destroy. The stuff. What, 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 what did Edahua just say? He said burn it to the ground. That's right. I gotta go back. And I'm gonna pause that. And I, I wanna, cause I wanna hear the rest of it. Okay. Anyway, let's. Uh, and you shall overthrow their altars and break their pillars, and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hewn down their graven images of their gods and destroy the names of them out of that place. All your Santa Clauses and all your damn all all these names, you know. And you go into the Bible, you've got a uh, uh, Marduk. Uh, you see, uh. Uh, what was uh, uh, by all all the, all the, all this nonsense? Okay, you know, and uh, 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 Christmas that goes into a whole whole different thing with them pagans and paganism, man. 
They have all kinds of gods, just like the what the uh, old Egypt and them Hamites. Same same type thing, man. Same type thing, right? Verse four: Ye shall not do uh, so unto the Lord your power. You did you hear that? Did you hear what that said? But unto the place which the Lord Yahweh, your power shall choose out of all your tribes to put his name there. Every uh, even unto his habitation shall ye seek and and uh, thither. Yeah, uh, th Salakia. Well, I'm tongue tied again. And thither thou shalt come. All right. All these sacrifices. And, uh, and this is crazy. It's madness. Th those who worship Yahweh must worship him in spirit and in truth, man. All right, so let's move on. I'm not going to make this too much longer. Winter solstice. Here's that book right there. The Two Babylons. Okay. I would uh, read more of this, but it's sort of hard to. Here we go. In introduction. And upon her forehead was named Mystery Babylon, the great mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Revelation 17 and verse five. It's a good read. So, uh, you know, there's a whole lot of it that's going off, but, it, but it's a good read. Check it out if you can. All right. Second Ezra 16 and verse one. Woe to woe unto woe be unto Babylon and Asia. Mm -mm -mm. Woe unto the Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with, with with cloth of sack and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry. See, you're going to be sorry. Your children going to be put to death. 2024 going to be something. It's going to be something. And be sorry for your destruction is at hand. You see that Babylon is going to get ready to be destroyed, man. All right. Because of all the iniquities that, that mystery horror, uh, uh, Revelation 17 verse 5, we would just right there at it. Read it in that book. Okay. All right. I swore it is upon you. And who may turn it back? Uh, uh, Jeremiah 51. Jeremiah 51. I was just reading that with a brother yesterday. Okay. A fire is set among you and who may quench it? Plagues are set unto you. And what is he that, that may drive them away? There's no way you can get away with it. None shall want her mate. Uh, none, of, uh, none of his words are going to go out void. He will accomplish on which he set everything out to do. Because it is written, written, so shall it be done. The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues. And who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath. And who is he that may quench it? Can't do it. Your arms are too short to box with your high boxing. I was shot. Stay tuned, please. I got to make sure it's being recorded. It was recording, so very good. Call hello, your high boxing. All right, so I, st I mentioned uh, Joe, it's Jeremiah 51. I think I had it pulled up. Yeah, I had it pulled up because I was speaking with a brother yesterday. Jeremiah, there's Jeremiah right there. Yep. Jeremiah, here we go. Jeremiah 51. Verse one, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, behold, I will raise up against what Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst, in the midst of them, I say midst of them that raise up against me a destroying wind. Yep. I was reading this yesterday to the brother. We had a good, uh, a good little, uh, you know, lesson. It was, it was good. All right. Verse two. And, uh, and we'll send unto Babylon fanners. What do you, what do you, what happens when you fan a fire? You, you feed it oxygen and it gets hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. Fanners. All right. And those fanners are what? <clears throat> the ICBM missiles with the angels in the midst of the lamb. Right. All right. That shall fan her. Who? That mystery horror. Great Babylon. Right. And shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about them ICBMs. The four angels holding back to four winds, man. That destruction is coming upon this place. Why? Because of all the uh, abomination that is done in the midst thereof. You see that? All right. Verse three. And against him that, bend, uh, that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow. See that? Let the archer bend his bow and against him that lifted himself up in his uh, brigade. All right. A brigade is, a, a, I believe, a military term, right? Okay, and spare ye not her young men. See that? The, uh, the draft and all that. Spare ye not her young men. Now, everything going to get destroyed, man. Destroy ye utterly all her host. Everybody. All that army. The whole damn place. Verse 4. Uh, Thus the slain shall fall into the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are 
uh, thrust through in her streets. See that? Let's move on down. Flee from the midst of Babylon. Babylon has been a golden cup. Therefore, the nations are mad. That's why they're going to bend them, them damn bows and shoot them arrows. Babylon, verse 8. Let's jump on down here. Babylon has suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take bond for her pain? If so, she may be healed, but she ain't going to be healed. No, let's move on down to verse 11. I'll just, this is my last scripture, you know, that I'm going to get. I'm just going to make this uh, lesson real quick. All right. Verse 11. Make bright the arrows. Gather the shields. The Lord Yahweh have raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. See that? Who the Medes? And them Russians over there, man. And they got the uh, largest nuclear missile uh, stockpile on earth. You see that right there? Uh-oh. All right. For his device is against Babylon. What device? Them ICBMs. We're telling you what it is. We're telling you what it is. See, and the elder said more protests, people frustrated, people getting shot over. Uh, 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 Mama, you gave him more presents. Mm -mm -mm. That's why this place got to be destroyed. We're reading about it right now. For his devices against Babylon to destroy it. Because it is the vengeance of the Lord Yahweh. The vengeance of his temple. It's, he's, he's pissed off against this great whore. He don't like it neither. The nations don't like it. Nobody likes it. Hell, Edomites don't like it. Verse 12, set up a standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. Prepare, prepare what? The ambushes. For the Lord Yahweh have both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. This place is freaking finished. Hopefully this lesson was edifying, giving all praise. Honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. Healthy Shalom to you, brothers, that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. I think I'm going to make this my thumbnail. Look at the smile. And now everybody all happy. You know, the Christmas spirit. Well, that's the spirit, all right. That's the spirit. Let faith take the reins. Ain't that something? You Jakes are finished. Every chance you get, chant this place down. Quam Yasharala and Wa Abai Baba. Boom. Shalom.